Your lips? Yeah. Are they real, are they real lips? What do you mean? Right, are they... You know, like, a lot of girls, like, these days, they're, like, um, like... Um... Pumped up. Everybody says to me that I'm too picky with men, and I think that is my problem. You know, I always find in little things that like, always oh, a bit short, he's a bit quiet, or he's not motivated enough. But then I think, like, you can't be like that, like, nobody's perfect. Be careful, it could be hot. There you go. <laughs> well done. I think oh, I've burnt my eyebrows. <laughs> this is 25 year old dental nurse Jade. She's hoping to find someone to get her teeth into. I love meeting new people and that, but it's just not really somewhere either to meet a bloke, do you know what I mean? I think like, most blokes that come to our practice are like, about 70 years old and ain't got any teeth, so... <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon. <laughs> How are you? You're looking amazing. <laughs> Thank you. I'm nervous, but oh, all right. You don't look it. <laughs> what a smile you have. What a smile. Thank you. Welcome to our bar. How are you? I'm really good. How are you doing? Oh, I think I smile and laugh too much all the time. People always tell me. I... Is there really such a thing as smiling and laughing too much? I don't think so. No, well, I always smile and laugh when I feel a bit awkward. <laughs> and what do you do, Jane? Um, I'm a dental nurse. Yeah. Dental nurse. Oh, well, well, I'm just checking your teeth. It's really embarrassing I've had an awful mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially when I was in year seven. I... I didn't just have a massive gap in the middle of my teeth, but they actually went outwards. <laughs> yeah, I was not a very attractive 13, 14-year-old. I'd like to think I've changed a little bit, hopefully. So. <laughs> my ideal man would be very tall, very broad, very dark. Just, yeah, very much the alpha male. Revving up for his date with Jade. Is very broad, very alpha, tree surgeon Tom. Spruce, pine, Fagus sylvatica, Fraxinus excelsior, Crataegus monogyna. You can come up with some of these Latin tree names and girls absolutely love it. Hello, how are you? Hello, how are you afternoon. doing? Looking great. Thank very you dapper. very much. Good. Come with me. Thank you very much. Your date has arrived, but she's in the ladies. OK, yeah, not a problem. I think that I've got to that certain age where... Thank you. I think the next relationship that I'll get into, that I want that relationship to be something serious. So what sort of girl are you hoping for? What do you want her to look like? Um, just sweet, to be honest. Quite long, dark hair, yeah. tan skin, dark eyes. My ideal woman would be a liquid amber tree. Quite nice and small, they're well shaped. They've got vibrant colour. <laughs> It's so hard to compare a woman to a tree. <laughs> Hello. 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 How are you doing? I think so, are you? Oh, how, how are you? you? Yeah, I'm very well. How are you? I'm all right. I What's was... your name, sorry? Jade. Jade Tom. <laughs> so what do you do? Um, I'm a dental nurse. Oh, are you? Yeah. I've really done good. it for, like, probably about five years. Okay. But, um, yeah, it's good, though. To be fair, like, I've done loads of other stuff as well. Like, I've worked in Subway as well when I was in... Have you? <laughs> When I used to work in Subway, always people used to be like, oh, girls at Subway know how to handle a foot long. And I'm, yes. <laughs> that is actually shameful. I've probably said it a few times myself. To be fair, but... <laughs> it's probably a pickup line, isn't it? Yeah. Would you like to follow me? Yes, yeah, so yeah. I knew you were my day because you were over six foot. <laughs> Stuck in a bag of manure when I was a kid, I reckon. <laughs> Thank you. Here we are. <laughs> You're taking my job away from me, Lou. <laughs> yeah. There's a there's a lot of pretty girls that walk into the yeah. restaurant. Yeah, I need to get used to this. You do. I need to get used to this. I don't know what this. it's like up in Yorkshire, but it's down here in London there are a lot of sorts. Yeah. No, I can't. Salty potato. Salty potato. Like salty yeah, potato. she's salty. That's not yeah, that's not what that means. Yeah, it is. It's a salt potato. <laughs> This is 52-year-old Sharon. What may I get you? Um, is it too early for a cocktail? Not at all. Well, excellent. So we'll have one of those that has brandy in it. A brandy cocktail of a sort? Yes, OK, yes. cool. And how are you feeling about your uh, impending date? <laughs> uh, a little, a little nervous. I think you'll be I'm fine. I'm looking forward to it. Good. And what do you do? Um... At present, I'm the UK's only female sumo wrestler. Oh, wow. Cool. Hakiai! 
Um, monsieur. Really? Because you know Fred here is an amateur boxer of sorts. I bet you her hands are faster than yours. All right, let me take you on. <laughs> <laughs> take my jacket off. They go like that, don't they? OK. Point your belt. And then how do you bounce? You... So I have to... Oh. Come on, how low can you get? You're oh. younger than me. OK. Oh, wow, you're very supple. All right. And then we, we, we bomb, yeah? Here? Yeah. Cocky <laughs> 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 Haki hai. Haki hai. <laughs> what an experience. Well, there you are. Now there lies a thing. Intimidation of men. No, it's OK. They're so intimidated by my size, my height. Really? Telling a man that I'm the UK's only female sumo wrestler. I am nervous of that. You know, a lot of people are always just a fat lady. No, because yours comes with a discipline and, right. a, and a sport there. It's a wholly different thing. And what sort of man do you like your men? Tall, well presented, just the one who enjoy life. As a big woman, I actually don't like big men. I've always liked tall, slim men, and I want to meet someone who still has a passion for life, has a passion for me. Sharon's date is six foot five train manager and occasional bingo caller, David. You kind of get your own style when you're a bingo caller. Two and five, 25. So you go up, and then your voice goes down. Hi, how are you? Hi, yeah, lovely. What's your name, please? David. David. So you've got to put a bit of yourself, a bit of David, has got to come across. I think I brought that to my new job as onboard train manager. Choo-choo. <laughs> Choo-choo. Good evening, ladies, and welcome aboard the Love Train. Calling that Happy Priory. Fun central, and please mind a step when you're leaving the train, because you might fall for me. And please... Woo, woo. Hiya. Oh, yeah. Hello. Sharon, Hello. nice to meet you. <laughs> David. David, nice to you. Been here long? No, not really. No. Hiya. Hi, sir. How are you? Yeah. yeah. What would you like? I don't suppose you do Blue Wicked, do you? No. Anything, anything you can make. We don't place. have any alcohol pops in the bar, I'm afraid, unfortunately. I'll let you um, mix up something. Whatever you think's good. Um, yeah, no problem. Yeah, don't let Blue Wicked put you off. <laughs> Why do I think I'm single? I'd say it comes down to just being unlucky. Every time I've gone out with someone, they've either cheated on me or they've just got bored really quickly. That's nothing against myself. I'm not boring at all. I'm just putting that out there. Right, well, it's only natural to be nervous, isn't it? It's been a while. For me, it's been a while as well. Yeah, all my friends getting married, all having kids. I'm the last one in my group. And how old are you, may I ask? Uh, 41. How about yourself? I'm 52. Really? Yeah. You don't, you don't <laughs> honestly look it. <laughs> no, you don't honestly. I would have said you were about the same age as me. Oh, wow. <laughs> age doesn't really bother me. Popping lemonade, pinch of strawberry. Right, sounds perfect. Thank you. Oh, thank Cheers. you very much. Cheers. Oh, look at you. All right. Got enough there. Let's see how this goes. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you smell nice, anyway. Smell nice? Yeah. yeah you look nice. <laughs> yeah, you look stunning. <laughs> Thank you. Got <laughs> to try and make an effort. So how, how tall are you? Because you are pretty tall, actually, aren't you? How tall are you? Six four. Are you? Yeah. Are you actually, like, six foot three? And so a lot of blokes do that. A lot of guys add an extra inch. I'll well, let you be the judge, then. <laughs> You know what I mean. <laughs> right, so what, what's the dating scene like in Kettering? I think the problem with Kettering is that, like, when I was in school, I was a bit of a geek. I used to get, like, picked on a little bit in school for, like, the way I yeah. looked. Well, how do you mean you're a bit of a geek? Um, <laughs> I used to look awful. And I had a really crap time. I used to get quite a bit of stick at school for what I used to look like. Do you want to see yeah, it? Yeah, let's see it. I really don't even want to show it. <laughs> I 
That's so bad. Yeah, you are too cool. I went through so many years of my childhood, like, I would just cry to my mum that I was so ugly, like, I used to hate myself, but I think I'm still just so, like, insecure and sensitive, really. What would you have done if you'd come make me sit down and look like that? Well, one, you'd be underage. <laughs> <laughs> Your lips? Yeah. Are they real are they real lips? What do you mean? Right, are they you know like a lot of girls like these days are like um like um pumped up. I've had a few bits done. A few bits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, What bits are we talking about? Um okay, so <laughs> <laughs> I probably spent about 12 grand altogether on stuff. On what? <laughs> OK, so basically, um, I had eye laser surgery done. All oh, right, yeah, fair and enough. Um, and then I had, like, quite a lot of lip filler done. I used to have, like, a bit of Botox and stuff done as well. What? Because when I laugh, like, my top lip disappears. <laughs> About a year ago, I had my boobs in as well. Did you? Austin, do me a favour. Don't forget the map, please, as well. I won't, Fred. Thanks. Surely the new guy should be sweeping this. as well, actually. So, um, would you say you, you've been, like, a bit of a player with the ladies, or...? <laughs> I had a bit of a <laughs> feeling... You to be honest now. All right, um... Yeah, yeah in the past, I have been. Yeah. I wouldn't bullshit you. Yeah. I'd say, yeah, I have been. I don't really know why I can't find a man. It's not finding them, it's keeping them. I think I scare them off. <laughs> <laughs> I think you are genuine. I think you can normally tell when someone's a bit of a knobhead. Yeah, I don't, I don't think you are. Well, that's just guys, really, isn't it, to be a bit of a dickhead? Yeah. You women are just... <laughs> you women? <laughs> no, I didn't mean like that. <laughs> I didn't mean like that. <laughs> oh, I suppose we better have a look, see what's on the menu. Do you know what? I'm actually... I'm gonna let you choose. I'll, I'll have a look. Go on then. <laughs> Hello. Hello. What are we going for? Right, we're going for. Going for the whole crab. The whole crab? Yep. Yep. So, just to share two spoons, two forks? For one each. We're going for one each. Go for one yeah. each. Yeah. <laughs> well done, my man. Okay. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure's off now. <sighs> what do you do work-wise? Um, I'm an on-board manager, train manager. Um, I've only been doing it just over a year now. OK. And before that, I used to work in bingo. Yeah. I love bingo. You love bingo? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah, I used to love it. I'm not overly confident, but stick a microphone in my hand, I can have a laugh in front of three, four hundred people, make an idiot of myself. I do miss it, but I've got to kind of move on. Cheers. 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 There's two Davids. Uh, you've got the confident person that my friends see and my family see. Mm. It's kind of sweet, but a little strong as well. Like me. <laughs> Spot on. And then if I was going out on a date, <laughs> the kind of more, a little bit shy, a little bit more vulnerable side. Am I making you hot, my darling? You are indeed. <laughs> so here we are. Got some work to do there then. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy. Yeah, we're Thank working on it. Thank you. It's beautiful. David, you've chosen very, very well. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I got home. Give him a clap. Can you believe that? Don't worry, we will do it.
This lady, she means business. Now, if I start to lose my teeth, cut that bit, all right, I'll re-glue them in. What's new? This is Connie, a retired RAF manager whose love life is struggling to leave the runway. I come over very flamboyant, sometimes loud, and I think this has been the trouble. A lot of men will think I'm a big handful. I'm just too hot to handle. Oh la la, mais bonjour. Fred, Ça this va? is especially no. for you. Is it? Monsieur, I have a French accent, but I speak no French. But you're taking the Mickey out of me? No, I'm not taking the Mickey out of you. <laughs> I am wearing the beret for you. Now, I'm known as a dresser. Because of my era when I was born, I think most people do have a certain dress code. I look better dressed than undressed. There was a time I looked better undressed than dressed, but not anymore. Enjoy, yeah? Huh? Hey, I've looked at you, I fancied you, and now I've met you. Me? Yeah. How are you? What's your name? Connie. Connie? Actually, it's Constance, but don't worry, you can call me Connie. So tell me, Connie, what do you do? Well, I was in the RAF. Oh, cool. And they used to have the most amazing dances. We used to jive and do all that. There was only 80 wives on the station to 400 men. So we had a very good time. <laughs> I bet you did. I've not given in to my age quite yet. Well, I know I'm getting older, put it that way. I don't feel much older um, than 64 or even sort of 29. And whatever man I meet, it's got to be the same. I'm ready for this guy. <laughs> I bet you didn't let me be. Arriving in style, 72-year-old jive dancer Gray is searching for a woman to get jiggy with. I just love moving to music with another person. It's supposed to be sex standing up, isn't it, apparently? But I've never actually had sex uh, while dancing. I have a great life, but I just need that extra person there. I just want to be How are you? Fred. How delightful to see you. Nice to see. Are you from the Els Angels? Uh, no. No? No, no, no they mm -hmm. barred me. Hello. Here we are, so that... Oh, you've got a hat too. Beret. Sexual attraction is important. <laughs> I'm not sort of wanting to beaver away night after night, but, you know, it, it's nice to know it's there in the, in the background. Um, nice Connie. to meet How's you. How's it, Connie? Mm. What's your name? Gray. Great. Oh, I will remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking my hat off. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. What can we get you? Um, I'll have a gin and tonic. Gin tea. Come on. Yes. Thank you. How far have you come from? I've come from Seven Oaks. And where have you come from? Henley on Thames. Lovely. Not too far away. I, I had a little cabin cruiser once and uh, took oh, it up to Henley on Thames. Oh, well, cheers. Cheers indeed. Yes. 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 Well. Do you have any? Activities that you enjoy. Oh, oh, dancing? Jiving is my my real bad. I'm a good jiver. Are you? Yeah. One, two, three, one, two, three. Oh. It's all in the arms. One, two, it's more like that, isn't it, where you go like this? I mean, no, I... no it's not. No, it's not. Would you say that you're quite into, like, a house and fitness? Would you say that you're quite active? Um... <laughs> Or do I go gym? I used to a couple of years ago, I don't anymore. Like normally on a Saturday, I'll have like a little lay in and they'll get a maybe like catch up on Coronation Street because I haven't oh, watched yeah, it. Oh, yeah, you're one of those here. Yeah. <laughs> I have not watched it all this week, I would just say. Like, yeah. do you know what I mean? Why do you keep laughing? No, I don't know. I would like to see him again. He's very attractive, yeah, pretty much on point of what I normally go for, yeah. <laughs> Can you pay my oh, cash yeah. or card? Uh, cash, please, mate. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. All right. Cheers for the signal. Thanks. So, would you like to see each other again? It's not me to answer, or you? <laughs> mm, you can go first. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'd, I'd like to stay in contact with you. Mm. Um, but I think at the minute, just as friends yeah I mean you are a stunner and you have got so much going for you but you can be honest I don't I'm not oh, yeah gone. well yeah it, w it wasn't the fact that you were too honest about it mm. 
but the way that like obviously I asked you about your lips because mm -hmm. you know I like I had to ask about yeah. your lips. So that kind of took me back a little bit. What I'm looking for, it would kind of be a little bit more natural. I see you later. Like, see you later, sweetie. See you I don't regret anything I do or said because, you know, if I want to be with someone in the future, then I want them to love me for me, so I'd rather just be myself and find someone who likes me who I am, really, so... <laughs> do you have any hobbies? Um, one of my main hobbies is 80, anything 80s themed. So I collect a lot of the, st the stuff, memorabilia from there. I shouldn't really, shouldn't really say this. Might be a bit too early. We've got Zippy. So if I say anything wrong, you can then zip him up. Actually, I'll leave him out there. You can sit there. Zippy. I'm doing ballroom dance classes now. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah. You know, we're doing... Um, uh, Who's where? This, this woman asked me to sort of come along with her. We're not an item. In the dancing, I tend to meet women, in, and that's been, been a fantastic source of uh, enjoyment since, since my wife pushed off. And have you met anybody else since you left your wife? Or did she leave you? No, no, she left me. No, she left me. No, no, no. Was that a shock to you? Uh, obviously, well, yes, it was a shock at the time, because, I mean, I was completely unaware, oblivious, you might say, but that was presumably part of the problem. I suppose being married, you, you have this sense of security, and then suddenly I was <clears throat> out of my own again. I was pretty overwhelmed with the idea that, you know, life was going to be completely different. I was actually with my uh, ex-wife for 28 years. So, it's a long time. It is a long time. Sort of. I have learnt um, from it to the degree that you cannot make assumptions that this person is going to be there for you all the time unless you're making sure that um, you are connecting. I left my husband after 24 years and um, since then I met this guy who I worked with um, and I was with him for 13 years. And unfortunately, he went so depressed, it was unbelievable. On one day, I knew I was going to be gone from the house from 8 o'clock until 2 in the afternoon. And I kissed him goodbye. I just had that feeling that morning. Anyway, I got back to my flat at quarter to 2. And I walked up the staircase and... I gingerly put the key in the door to go to open the door. And as I walked in, I saw him. He'd hung himself in the hallway. Oh dear. I did run around the room like a headless chicken, screaming, you stupid bastard. I was angry with him. It took a long time after my partner died to actually think about meeting anyone. And I am looking now for somebody to just give me that bit of sparkle that I have been missing in the last 12 years. You hear of all these different stories. You don't think it's ever going to happen to you. Well, I mean, I would say that about divorce. It's something you don't think is going to happen to you, and, and then suddenly it did. So there you go. It's only two types in this world. There are those that give and those that take. Ah. Right. What are you? Obviously, I'm a giver. Uh, you have to say that. Of course you've got to say that. Eh? No, I know I'm a giver. You know you're a giver. What, what do you mean, do. I know I'm a giver? Oh, I don't know that, do I? Well, you don't know it, but I'm <laughs> telling you, so now you know. How are you feeling about Zippy? It's cute, isn't it? Bruh. You're matching. Go on, yeah, leave it, leave it there before he comes back. <laughs> Thank you. I only just noticed. 
He looks very happy though, look at his face. <laughs> Don't think I've seen him so happy. <laughs> Sit there. Yeah. Have you been married before? A very long time ago. I think we, not only did we grow apart, he just wanted someone else. I trusted him. And next thing I know is, he's off with someone and they have a child together. That's it. It took six months of me crying, talking to myself, what's wrong with me? Is it, is it because I'm too fat? I don't know, all sorts of things came into my mind. That was probably the lowest time. I think Sumo saved me from sitting there and wallowing. He's a loss, as my children tell me. Indeed. I have met men who say, oh, you've got a beautiful face. And then you hear the but. So you know they're then going to say, it's about you being so fat. <laughs> I do see my wrestling. I went into the Guinness World Record books as the heaviest sportswoman in the world. The heaviest? Yeah. Okay. Oh no, that's, that's fine. Yeah. No, I was, I'm just trying to work them up. I'm just trying to work the maths out. But about yeah, 33 and a half stones. Oh, that's not, yeah. That's not that much at all, really. But, I'm not saying that's that much, but it doesn't bother me about the weight. Um, so you have a portion for large I do indeed. I'm never going to be a small lady. OK, that's good. Well, it's like me, I'm never going to be a short person. I can't, hey! I can't change that, so this is what I am. David, you're making me feel good. Good. Cheers, Cheers. David. So my table over there. Yeah. Guess what a major hobby is? I'm going to give you one clue. Hackney boy Adam works on the trading floor, but when it comes to love, he's yet to seal the deal. Hello, Hello how are you? Nice to meet you, Adam. You'll hear people in the background shouting their head off, screaming, and then like either making a fortune or losing quite a lot. So volatile, up and down all day long. A crazy place. Look, follow me. But then we got offices as well in New York and Singapore. Nice to meet you. Big myself up here, you know. <laughs> Thank you very much. What do you do? I work for a stock brokerage in the city. Nice. I do the, uh, the geeky technical sides. Do you say you don't look like your average stockbroker? <laughs> <laughs> I look more like a chimney sweep tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of girl are you hoping to go through the door? Attractive, fun, chatty, outgoing. I've never been on a date with a girl. Always gone to Ibiza and partied. So I need to change that ASAP. Adam's date is 28-year-old Liverpudlian, Lena. I'm not flipping Beyonce. Like, I'm not a stunner. I'm not any of those things. I can't just go around saying, these are my types, I'm only going to go for them. Like, I'm a little bit realistic. So I think it's all about, like, who you meet, who you just have, like, a really good vibe with. Good evening. Hi. Where are you from? Liverpool. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I don't say I have a type, but I think... Taller than me. Had a really bad situation with a very short man who I had to always bend my knee to like be his height when I was talking to him. And honestly, my knee really hurt after. Like, hey, hey darling, you all right? Nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. What's How your name? You? Lena. What's Lena, lovely to meet you, Adam. Nice to meet you. Take a seat, darling. Can I get you a drink? Yeah, can I just have a gin and tonic, please? Of course. Where were you from? Uh, East London, Hackney. That's where I live. I was talking to someone the other day, they were like, oh, the craze are from round, like, <laughs> East London. And I was like, what? If you say something from East London, they're like, oh, you must like pie and mash, you must own a craze. Like, yeah. No. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. It's a good night. Nice to meet ya. I love France. Excuse me. In fact, I'm going to the Onion Festival oh, yeah. in Roscoff next week. There's onion jelly, there's onion jam, they make all things. Whoa. 
you know, it's on my list now. Well, there's certain things I want to do before I die. I've not been to Venice on the Orient Express. I would like to do that. Well, I've, I've been to Venice and I've been on a train. I've been to Venice, but I've not been on the Orient Express. Well, so, so, so what, really? No, so... because you need to live a little. What would you do on your bucket list? I don't, I don't agree with bucket list. Sorry, why? Well, I mean, I <laughs> see there is nothing particularly I want to do. There's no, no particular place I want to visit. Enjoy your meal. <sighs> what Sumo has done for me is allowed me to be who I feel I want to be. Yeah. I love to look nice, I love to go out, I love to socialise, but I also love being at home. Now, I like to cook. Yeah. Um, What's your speciality, then? Curry gourd. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> you will love it. Look forward to it. Oh, really? <laughs> he's tall, he's friendly, he's fun. Plus, he was a bingo caller. And, you know, my favourite is bingo, so, hey. Oh. You enjoyed yourself? Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. That's all right. Are you going to be the dessert, then? I could be the dessert. Yeah. I was just going to pick up and drink that <laughs> for a second, and that would have been quite warm. I've got an advanced certificate in first aid, so no worries there. I'll give it a supply good. first. Thank you. And then we'll call the ambulance. <laughs> so, do you want to see each other again? That's the question. Do you want me to go first? Yes. You do, yeah. I do. Are I'll... you sure? Yeah. Really? You seem surprised. <laughs> do you? Of course I do. Ah. <laughs> There's a pause there for a second. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, I think we've gotten really well. Yeah, we do. We do, yeah. That was the most relaxed date I've ever had, so... Oh, thank you. Sorry? <laughs> I would expect to get a text later on. Yes! Or a phone call. Oh, I don't know, a phone call. Oh. If I've got 10p right. yeah. left... 10p, oh, right. you're, going, you're going old school, aren't you? <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> <gasps> I've never had an oyster in my life. Never. Have you actually not? Never. I don't care if it's an aphrodisiac. I'd rather just not have it. <laughs> and they're gross. I've got high hopes for my table. Yeah. You know that a guy in like a flat cap, he's got banter, he's just as. Got a good you, feeling. Got a good feeling. Yeah. Cool. You're gonna get the steak and then we'll get chips. See, we've just like. Done. It's like teamwork. Done. Already there. <laughs> <laughs> Um, what do you do then? Uh, well, I work for Stop Break Reach. Hey. But I work in the IT department. Got offices in like New York, London, Singapore. Oh my god, New York's my favourite place on earth. I went there twice. Been sent there for work twice. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Yeah. First time I went, obviously it's like, I was like, I'm starry eyed. I was like, it's incredible. And then second time I went, wasn't. Uh, I just went against a bit, bit deep. Wasn't the best experience. So I was working out there. You ready for this? Ready. <laughs> so I was working out there. I remember I stood up at work to try and say something to someone. We all said desk. I said we all said desk, and I was like, I couldn't even talk. I was like, mm, mm, right. and then it was like fucking collapsed. Like hit the deck. And obviously working in like a stock brokerage for like lads, they just thought I stacked it. So I remember when I was going down, everyone was like, wee, like that. And then so I realised very quickly that I was like, yeah, this ain't normal. Like, he's not right. We were rushed hospital, and they discovered like a brain tumour. So I had two like brain surgeries in the space of seven days. A benign or it was malignant, so really aggressive, right? So it goes up to like grade four, my yeah. grade three, so like really, really aggressive. And I don't know how long it'd been there for, but yeah. Had you never had any symptoms? No, nah, literally not until that day at work. Obviously not what I was expecting from a work trip to New York, two brain surgeries. 
once I'd been discharged for the second time, I phoned my mum. I've actually got it on my phone because I knew it was going to be like a very like poignant part of my life, this phone call. So I recorded it on my phone whilst I was talking to my loudspeaker. Hello? Mum? Hello? I'm out. Hello? 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 insight to the most emotional phone call I've ever had to make in my entire life. Bless her. <laughs> How long ago was that then? So yeah, I've been back for like three, four months. This year? Yeah, yeah. This year? Yeah, yeah. I've had this little wake up call, a little reminder to sort myself out. <laughs> want a missus, want a house, want kids, want to do all the grown up stuff now. I've had me fun. <laughs> So I've literally just finished doing like radiotherapy and then start. This is really grim. It's the worst date chat ever. It's not grim. All will be good. I'm convinced all will be good. But it's just the hand I've been dealt with, innit? When I was 23, I found a lump in my boob and they took it out, but it took me a couple of months to recover because obviously I had to do such a big Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. You either lie in bed and you feel sorry for yourself and yeah. you let everything like pass you by yeah. or you take what? Oh, yeah, don't get me wrong, I've had, I've had like horrible wonky days where I've just been like indoors Which crying. Which is totally crying. fine. So, I be, I'm a big believer in crying. Yeah, yeah. Get better out than in. Get it out. Like, I'm the worst ugly crier. And I'm like, <laughs> and then sometimes I'm like, I've just got ugly crying and I feel so much better about myself. Good cry, good like snotty, sobbery cry, like. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be like, Ooh. Could be in bits. Yeah. <laughs> the worst thing you can do is just like bowl stuff up. Cheers to us. Yeah. Do I need more to drink? I can probably manage with water. What about yourself? I'm going to go outside and have a coffee with a cigarette. <laughs> I'm not a smoker. I am. All right. See, my, my parents smoked, and I, I used to... I hate, hated the smell of cigarette smoke. Are you OK for drinks? I would just have a espresso, please. What coffee would you like? Oh, well, I'd have to have a decaf at this time of night, yeah. I guess. Thank you. See, you're not living again. I'm not living, you're I know. I, I just don't... But then... You're you, not living. I don't need to do these <laughs> daredevil things. Look at the puddings, there's so many. Yeah, but to roll one out straight away, we're not doing cheese balls. I love cheese. Do you not like cheese? Uh, Why? Just, I don't think I'm cultured enough, to be honest. So you think I had the right cheeses? I don't like, on like, uh, on, a, on, on a cracker. Like a bit of cheddar. You can't just stick with a Jacob's cracker the whole of your life. <laughs> we get the chocolate truffles then, please? Of course she can. Thank you. How are you doing? Look at my face. Oh, no. I'm too young for him. He seems lovely, like, chatty, funny, charismatic, but... I'm not, it's boring. He doesn't want to do anything. I'm just going to drop the check, so I'll leave it there. Oh, okay. right. I said to him, right, I'll have a double espresso. He had decaffeinated. That sums it up in that nutshell, doesn't it? I'm going out on a high, he's going flat. Would you like to see each other again? I think Grey is a very nice guy, but I don't think you're for me. Right, OK. I think um, you didn't actually like my candle. Oh, oh, right. Oh, oh, yes. No, I didn't know you had a candle, but there you go. Okay. okay. Right. 
I just didn't uh, find a bucket list of much interest. I haven't got anything written down to say I need to climb Mount Everest or... or... No, no, but it, that, it's the idea. The idea. I'm talking to you as a prospective man in my life. Yes. I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you... Well, but then I'd have to provide a, 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 some specific item to do, wouldn't I? Well, I'd stop smoking if I were you. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Uh, for, not only for your for your future relationships, but but um, My for, health. for your health. Bye. Bye. Bye there. I mean, I can't smell your breath, but I mean, it's so you probably. But I mean, smokers do. His breath does smell. So have a good evening. Well, I had a nice meal. Absolutely normal. I feel better than ever. Yeah. I still feel fit and healthy. I've done a fucking marathon the other week. Right. And um, so yeah, I've been back for like three, four months. Raised like 12 grand for cancer research. I do it as long as I feel physically fit. I'll keep doing stuff like that. But I've run more since being diagnosed with brain tumor than I ever did in my previous life. I couldn't even run for a bus before I had this. Now I'm like Forrest Gump running everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's great. I found it so easy to talk to him. We've got loads in common. And here are your truffles. Thank you. Amazing. He obviously has been through so much and it's really inspirational, really. You've got you've got to massively respect someone for that. How many do you want? Well, I have two. I'll save you two. I'll save you three. Yeah, she's cool. I was, I was double happy with who I got matched up with. She's wicked. Good balls, eh? Three <laughs> <laughs> with balls. Are you going to see each other again? Ladies first. <gasps> you did not just do that. I did. It's on you. <laughs> no, it can't be on me. Yes. We could go after three. One, two, three. Go on in. Okay. One, two. Yes. Yes. Take care, Enjoy. mate. Have Take fun. care, man. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Just look at her. She's cool as fuck. She's wicked. I've, I've really enjoyed it tonight. Really good couple of hours. Enjoyed that. You? Yeah. Carrying on? Yes. Really good vibes. Like, I think you're amazing. Just, yeah. Really cool. Perfect. I'll take that. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Had a good night? Yeah, very good. So far? Yeah, so far, so good. <laughs>